going on, YouTube? United Gamer here, and welcome to another episode of the Pokemon Sun Extreme Randomizer Dots Like, How are you guys all doing? Hope you're having a great day in the last episode, guys. Man, what an episode. If you missed it, make sure to go check it out. We had two intense battles with Guzma and Lusamine. Is it Lusamine or Lus- It's Lusamine, right? I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, but if you guys are still enjoying the series, be sure to show your love by smacking that like button. Comment question of the day. What is your favorite band or, like, favorite person to listen to? Uh, mine has been my favorite band for a very long time now. It is a band known by Memphis Mayfire. I'm wearing a shirt. That's why I decided to make that my comic question. They have been my favorite band for many years now. Not a big popular genre, I guess you could say. Probably most of you have never heard of them. I'd be surprised if many of you even had. But if, to me, it is an amazing band. I love their lyrics. I've been to several of their shows. An amazing band. So answer that to have your chance to be nicknamed a Pokemon on this journey in today's episode. I don't really remember what we have to do. We're still in the Aether Foundation. And I know we're not done with all this ultra beast and ultra space crap. We have more to do with that But uh, let's go ahead and head down here and see what Lily and all of them are up to Oh, that music is so deep Oh, it's <laughs> We're shorter than her! We can't even be with her! We're shorter than her! Don't let this game lie to you. Girls will not like you if you're shorter than you. I'm just kidding. I'm just You know the stereotype. I'm sure you know the stereotype. I never realized we're actually shorter than Lily. Man, we, we got some mad pool game. I picked up these clothes in Mali. Do you think they suit me? Oh, I, I'm gonna say I don't know. <laughs> I've never done that before. Oh, Dylan, I'm really trying. Oh, if she's ever trying, that's a good sign. I'm, I, I didn't know you didn't know that you were coming here for some, you know, lady tips from Old United Gamer. <laughs> I want to be strong enough to face any trial. I didn't know you could say I didn't know about her not uh, looking too too hot for us. I mean, she is 10, so we don't have anything. Uh, at most, you know, we're trying just to hold her hand. Maybe a kiss on the cheek. Maybe. So, this is where you were. Yeah, I mean, we're out here in the midday. Like, why do you got to be a, you know, cock block? Man, why does he do that every time? Seriously, he's always over there covering his eyes. It's something to the moon flute. We're sounded together. It's said that they can call the legendary Pokemon. That is, if you believe in old myths, anyway. Looks to me like the woman that was planning to add the legendary to our legendary Pokemon to her little collection here. Well, and she can take all that if she wants. We're gonna take a Master Ball. Let's go. Oh, yes, I'm so ready. Now, no matter what we run into, if it's amazing, guys, we can catch it no matter what. Oh, I almost wish we could get this earlier on in the game. It'd be so nice. But for real, like, we're shorter than Lily. I swear we weren't in the beginning. She must have just shot up a foot or something. But maybe, maybe we're. Dang, she's freaking tall. What happened to you? We're, she's smiling. She's actually happy. Her mom just... Went off with aliens and she's happy, so I don't really get that. Hal's never sad. Like, he's he's always happy. I wish I had your enthusiasm, Hal. That's probably why I don't like you, just because I wish I had your enthusiasm. I'm just kidding, I like Hal. He's, he's, he's alright. The only, like, rivals I didn't like were 6th Gen. I... no. Weren't for me. It was really glad that you came. I'm really... I was really glad that you came too, Hal. No, you weren't. <laughs> I'm gonna put that as my f finale, uh, Gladion's little stance there. That's gonna be the thumbnail. Alright, we got our Master Ball now. Now I can care less about catching legendary Pokemon. I just wanna go see what we can run into on Pony Island to see what we can use this Master Ball on. That's really all I care about. Okay. We're done here pretty much for now, I think. We don't have to worry about the Ultra Beast stuff, uh, until we actually go to catch Solgaleo and whatnot. So, which really isn't that far away, and honestly, once we're done with that, we're close to the end of this game. That's insane to say. I went to the wrong area, though. I meant to go to the docks. Go, yeah. Dylan! Alright, so we're finally going down to the docks. I'm sorry. My stupidity. I'm too, like, trigger-happy right now with my thumb. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go to Body Island. We got a Master Ball. Oh, I honestly forgot we got it right here. Um, let's see what Lily and them are doing. Let's go, Dylan. No holding back. Ready to go. I mean, I got nothing else to do here. I got the uh, rare candy that I needed. So, of course, I'm ready to go. <sighs> We're going over to Pony Island, the name that I could not remember. And we have a good bit of places we can catch some Pokemon here, too. So, 
that's going to be what we're going to be doing for the next couple of episodes, I imagine, is just trying to catch some different Pokemon, finishing up our team, because we really don't have that much longer in this game, and I want to get our team established now. Um, even though we can get one, uh, technically, the victory road of this game, we can get a Pokemon there, but they'll be such a high level, it won't really matter. Oh, man. How cool life would be if we just had Pokemon. Everyone was so worried about, like, when I asked the comment question, if you want a Pokemon were real, everyone was just so worried about, like, the danger that it could bring. And all I'm thinking about is I get to fly around on freaking Charizard and ride on a Lapras and uh, on a Magikarp. I'm sure I can just jump on him and he'll, he'll, he'll know what to do. If I can fly on a Pidgey, I can ride on a Magikarp. Dylan, I'm okay. You don't have to worry. I know what I have to do now. And, uh, I don't know, maybe it sounds strange, but I'm- I'm kind of excited! Uh, for once, I didn't make her sound like she wanted to kill herself. <sighs> Lily's finding the brights to things. Alright, so we're here in Seafolk Village. Nope. <laughs> I didn't want to run into an encounter right now with people. I want to actually go catch some Pokemon. I don't want to course I don't want to slowpoke. Nice to see a new face around here. Who are you, Mr. Man? Oh my goodness! This is a really cool place, though. Like, I really like Seafolk Village. It reminds me of Pacific Log, um, from 3rd Gen. Uh, like, it's, it, it was, like, what I would imagine it'd be if it was, like, this 3D, like, big model. Not like Omega Ruby, you know what I'm saying? Like a Final Fantasy-looking type games, which is what, you know, Sun and the Moon sometimes reminds me of, as I mentioned in a previous episode. Uh, just some of the story aspects and whatnot. The story's good. It's not the best of all generations, but it, it was a good storyline. I, I I like how they do put more effort into that. All right. Honestly, though, I've I've done enough in these past few episodes. So I haven't caught any Pokemon Pokemon for a while, so I'm ready just to go see if we can get something. Maybe that Mudsdale that Lily just mentioned. I would love to get a Mudsdale right now. First off, we're gonna go to where we can catch. Um, oh, don't let me. Delmai. Thank you. That's because like, don't let me forget his name again. Is it? I think it's this ship. We come out right here, and we can catch him. Now you want it to be a puddle right here, or like a little splash thing, um, a ripple. That's what I'm looking for. I forgot Flash Cannon was a TM. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. We gotta hope and pray right now, guys. Please, 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 please. No! Dang it! Oh! If <laughs> Why can't? Mm, why can't Jill learn this? <sighs> Who can learn Wild Charge? Tapu Gogo can learn it. Um, why can't it learn Flash Cannon? God, that would be so good! Special Attacker Steel type! What else do we have? <laughs> oh, I was about to say, if it could learn this, I'm gonna be like, you gotta be kidding me. Psychic. Um, Alice, that might be pretty good. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know what else. Um, they know. Let's see. Just smart strike. Still not even good, though. I need a special attack. We need to get some more TMs. We really don't have anything. But, like, it's just really frustrating how they don't learn what they type they are. Like, Vikavolt in this is a fighting type, but it can't learn Brick Break. That's so annoying. I shouldn't have, I should have, like, somehow made it to where they had to be able to learn something that's their type. I don't know if I could have done that or not, but, uh, we'll see. The ripple's gone, so we need to go back in here and come right back out, and I think that brings it back out. And we'll have an encounter here in Seafolk Village. Let's see what we got. Alright, baby. Something good! Let's see. Uh, okay, well, we can't catch this. Um, duplication. Uh, I don't have that in the description below, guys, but, um, if we ever run into a Pokemon where we have the same evolution line, we can't catch it, because it's technically a duplication. The sucky thing about, I just realized by, like, um, fishing here is their level is level 10. Can I surf around here in F Seafolk Village, or do I have to do this? I don't remember. I guess we'll go ahead and do this. We can train it up, I guess, if we get something really good. I hope we get something really good. I just, level 10, man, that really sucks. All right, well, apparently we can only get this. <laughs> we already got you. All right, well, which run away game? Let's see what the level is this time. 17, yeah, like... That just really is not too good. And Quick Attack will kill it with Killua, so honestly, like... We can't even hurt it. Can we surf in Seafolk Village? I don't think you can, even though there's people out there with Sharpedos. 
Like, I don't remember being able to surf here. Let me see if we can, though. I don't- I don't think we can. Alright, well, I- I wasn't wrong. <laughs> we cannot get, uh, surf anywhere. At least as far as I can tell, we can't surf here in Seafolk Village, which I didn't really think we could. Uh, but let's see if we can get something besides what we already have. Nope. You gotta be kidding me, there's no way this is all we can have. There's more than one encounter here, there's three, I think. And there's no way it's just this evolution line. Level 39. God, let's hope we get that kind of luck. We got a Quagsire! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, it's something different. It's level 23. It's not the worst. Uh, I doubt it'll, it'll probably be able to take a quick attack. Actually, I think it will. Not very effective, so it definitely will. Has stamina. Oh, it got a pretty good ability. All right. It's not gonna do anything to us. We that was a crit too. Yeah. Let's hit with another quick attack. We should be able to catch this thing, no problem. I'm curious what type it is, but hey, I can't complain too much. It's something different, and it has a pretty cool ability. Stamina's an awesome ability. Alright, normally that would be kind of scary, I guess, but uh, that ain't gonna do anything to us. Alright, let's go ahead um, and use an Ultra Ball. We don't have many Ultra Balls. I need to go to the PC or the Pokemon Center real quick to see if we can get some other things. We need a few items after everything we went through because I kind of forgot we have no more healing items either anyway. And Quagsire is caught. There's our encounter for Seafolk Village. Not an amazing catch, I guess, you know. That's pretty obvious, but uh, it could have been worse. It could have been where we caught absolutely nothing. So um, uh, I'll be right back to give one of you guys a nickname after this Pokemon. Hyper Beam, you said, Hey Dylan, my favorite Pokemon anime is definitely X, Y, and Z because of the mystery behind Squishy and just seeing Ash Grin Ninja is so exciting. I haven't watched a lot of the recent animes. I've, I, as I mentioned in the last uh, couple of episodes, I think, um, I only mainly watched the, I watched all of the Indigo League and then second and third gen, and that's pretty much a bit about it. Like, I haven't really watched any of X and Y and Z or Black and White. I'd like to see Alola. I watched part of it recently, and it was actually pretty dang good, so I want to go and just binge watch like every single season just to see like everything that I've been missing. But uh, let's go ahead and see what Hyper's type is. Probably Steel or no Rock. He's Rock. I can tell because he's Rollout. Um, not not a, not a terrible uh, type for him, especially with stamina. That's pretty cool too. And he has a Prism skill. It's not what we need though, unfortunately, but we will send you to the box. But welcome to the team, Hyper. Uh, thank you for being a part of the United Family. Let's go ahead and head over deeper into Pony Island to see if we can get something else. Something, I just really haven't had, I don't think I've had any fire encounters besides Regirock and Tauros, which is not the best for a fire type. Regirock, I can't complain, he's a legendary. Um, but uh, I would rather have something else. Zygarde's still over there. Let's head over here. Okay, I think we have some dialogue though before we can actually go and catch Pokemon. Of course we do! This is the Alola region, what am I talking about? I love how Lily's actually changed. She looks actually happier. I'll do my best to keep up, Dylan. I'll be fine. I've got Max Repels on me. And I've got you, too. Oh, she looks so happy! I like this! I like new and improved Lily. Alright, well, uh, we're healed up. Oh, no, 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 no. We gotta do something real quick. We need to go get some potions and some Ultra Balls before we go on any further. Sorry about that. Completely just for, slipped my mind. Uh, but I definitely want to do that because I don't want to run into anything even though we have the Master Ball worst case scenario of anything. Uh, but I still don't want to waste that just in case we can save it for later. We have a good bit of money now. This feels so nice. After that Aether Foundation, we have really stacked up some dough. So let's go ahead and get about nine of these. Get about 10 total. Well, we can still get about five super potions because they are still pretty good. If a Pokemon's not fully weak, uh, comes in handy. Um, get about 14. This should be honestly a bit like to last us the rest of this game. I think we have plenty of Pokeballs. We do. Uh, got super repels, got escape ropes. We'll get about five more full heals. And honestly, that'll last us like at least until the, like, the Elite Four, I think. Everything that we have. I want to save as much money as I can for the Elite Four because after that, you really just want to buy out in a Nuzlocke challenge. You just want to go all out. It doesn't matter if you have too many. You can never have too many potions in a Nuzlocke challenge. It's just good to have since your Nuzlocke challenge is over after the Elite Four. Or normally, unless you're doing after game. But okay, let's see what we got here on Pony Island. Yes! This can be so good! Oh, and Alakazam! Level 41! Let's go! It has terrible defense, so quick attack should do a pretty decent amount of damage. Shouldn't kill it. Okay, we gotta be careful though. Misty Terrain. Okay. Okay. 
All right, go ahead and change the terrain. I'm not too worried about that. As long as you're not like a water type and you have like hydro pump with that good special attack, that's really scary. Just in case somehow I knock this thing out in one hit, I'm gonna go ahead and throw an ultra ball. I didn't see if we can get lucky. Just to see if we can get lucky. I don't want a quick attack to knock this thing out. One, come on baby, please. Two, three, let's go, come on. Yes! Oh, I love Alakazam so much. Oh, I love it. Welcome to the team, Alakazam! Please be a good type. I don't know what type you're gonna be, but I'm so excited to find out. Oh, I love Alakazam. Uh, one of my favorite Pokemon is on my very first Pokemon team um, on Ruby. I still remember catching my Abra. Uh, add it to Pokedex, please. Oh, if he's just a good type. We'll see. Oh, Alakazam, come on, buddy. Come on. Flying in ice. Why is everything ice type? That's not a bad combo. We got a freaking Articuno over here. That's not a bad combo at all, honestly. I don't know if I'm going to use him or not, especially when we have a Xerneas. That's ice type. Could be much better, but I'll be right back to name one of you guys after this Alakazam. Logan the Cat, you said, my favorite anime is black and white, just because of Foster White. And if you see this, could you name the Pokemon Harold or Herbert? So we're going to name this Alakazam Herbert. So welcome to the team. I don't think you're going to be used. It depends, honestly, what moves you know. Knowing now that you were ice type is really freaking scary that I had, um... Um, our Tapu Koko out there, that was ground type, like he could have been gone like that, that would have been uh, terrifying, but Herbert, welcome to the team, we'll see what kind of moves you know. Alright, let's see, your summer, you're, you're a good level, 41, nice level. He didn't know any, why do you know an electric type and you're not an electric type? He doesn't know any good moves really, but dang, that's such a good Pokemon. Uh, down in attack is the best thing for Alakazam to, um, I would only rather it have been like up in special attack or up in speed or something. Probably up in speed. And it has prism armor. Reduces the power of super effective attacks taken. That is really good for that defense. Uh, that is so bad. So, honestly, he could be a good member on our team. It just depends if he actually learns any good moves. So, I'm going to send you the PC right now. Actually, I should have just... Hold on, hold on. Oh, I guess we'll play this in the back. I should have just grabbed him real quick because I can't use Vikavol anyway. I don't know why he's still in our party. He's dead. Um, I want to go see who should I pick that should be my comic question is who should I use Xerneas or Alakazam? What did I say my comic question was I need to ask that in the next episode what uh, Pokemon I should use let's go ahead and take a look real quick um, and see like Talonflame is not gonna be used Quagsmire is not gonna be used flying. <laughs> let's see your special attack is definitely gonna be better You're 10 levels higher though, but at least Xerneas knows some like moves Hmm it's an okay ability, I suppose. We still have Alex over here, which we could be good. It's just going up against a uh, ice type. It's just too scary for him, and I don't want him to die again. Would be good if only you uh, had a better type. Uh, and then we got Reggie Rock here, which has down and attack. See how just defensive he is? He doesn't have good special attack or attack. It only has his flame wheel. Like, that's not too good to have. And I thought he was fire and fighting, actually. He's fire and fairy. So honestly, I think Alakazam is a better move than Xerneas. Like, I know Xerneas is a legendary, but look at that special attack difference. And if he can learn, like, Ice Beam or something, that would be so freaking good. The flying type kind of scares me. There's nothing really good for him to learn there. Um, so as of right now, I'm going to put him on the team, but I'll probably ask that as my comment question. You guys can let me know now who should I use, though. I'm not going to use that as a comment question. Just let me know who should I use uh, between Alakazam and Xerneas. So we'll put Vikavolt up since he is kind of useless. Torterra could have been good too. Just haven't had too much luck. We could try to evolve like uh, coughing or something. We could try to evolve some of these Pokemon. That's probably one thing we should do is evolve some of these and see what we could get because we might get that electric type that we've been looking for. So that might be a good like side episode to go and try to evolve all these things just to see if we can get something better. Uh, I think that would be a pretty cool episode. You know, be different. Maybe not everyone would want to watch it because we're not technically making progress. But, I mean, I just like to see what kind of Pokemon we can get. I'm not going to lie. That's one of my favorite things about this. Um, let's see. We don't need, we need to use a Repel. I don't feel like uh, running into any more Pokemon here uh, since we can't catch anything. 
But I'm okay with our encounter. Like, I'm completely with okay with catching an Alkazam. Awesome, awesome Pokemon. And definitely a potential member to our team. It just it just all depends on what moves they learn. I wish I could like look up what moves they learned. Uh yeah, might be able to, I don't know. Uh let's head on over here and see what we got to do. I don't feel like battling anybody. We are fine on our levels right now. We're taking on Guzma and the president like nothing, so we're alright. Ancient Pony Path. Can you just give me this Mudsdale? Like, he could be so good. He might actually be really good. It's good to see you again, too, Mudsdale. You look like, uh, you look to be fi in fine form. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've been working out. Wow, Pokemon trainers really do amaze me. It seems like a hard path to walk, and even so, you don't let yourself be held back by fear. You seeing your Pokemon, or seeing your Pokemon friends get hurt, you just gotta keep striving forward together. <laughs> That being said, I really don't know if I could be a Pokemon trainer. Talking about being Pokemon being real and all, like, like I'm gonna be honest. Like, for me, if I ever see an animal being abused, it like freaking makes me so mad and tears me up. I'm gonna be honest. I love animals. I love animals so much. So if I had like my Totodile or like Relu or something or Charmander, and I saw him getting hurt by something, I don't know if I could take that. I don't know. Like that's pretty brutal, honestly. Like, like, like I've said, I think before. Like, in the Indigo League, when Charmander's on that stump and he's getting rained on, he got abandoned by his trainer. Oh my god, as a kid, I wanted to beat that trainer up. Like, that just infuriates me. Mm, that's why I love Charmander. Another, obviously, but everyone loves Charmander. Charmander, you can't not like Charmander. At least I don't think you can. Wow, that's, that's pretty creepy. What you going, Grandma? I I'm sorry, I don't think we've been introduced. Ho oh, ho ho, I am Gra Apple's old grand. Are you two friends with my girl? Oh, yes we are. <laughs> she has friends. She has friends now. Wow. She's not such a loser anymore. I would love to have him a champ too. That'd be really cool. Uh, what do we Oh, yeah, we got to get him a champ here so we can move all these big boulders out of the way. I was so bad we could like use these. Like you technically catch these. That is so awesome! <laughs> I would use him everywhere I go! Machamp can just carry me everywhere. You'll, see, you'll need to move some obstacles, or big obstacles, to make it down the path that you ho too hope to travel. Good god, I butchered that. I wish you have a- I wish you both a bright future. My happy was heading for the ruins of hope, wasn't she? Go after her. First, you'll have to come to Pony Breaker Coast. You'll know it by the soil. It's black as pitch. Wait, it's pit. It's black as pitch. It's pitch black. I've never heard it said like it's black as pitch. That's an interesting way to word it. At least, uh, at least I've never heard it like that. I've heard it's pitch black. It's black as pitch. Okay. Well, uh, we'll head there real quick. We're going to end today's episode off right here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of the Pokemon Sun Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. Let me know who should I use between Xerneas and Alakazam in the comments below. If you're new to the channel and you did enjoy, my name is United Gamer. I hope you really did have a good time here. Hit that subscribe button and join the United family today. You guys can find me at all kinds of social medias like Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, all that. Links are in the description below. As always, everybody, this is not just a channel. It is a family, and I can't wait to see you in the next episode. I'm out.